Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be answering the question, does adding weight to your vehicle improve acceleration? And in the vast majority of cases the answer is no. But under rare circumstances, for example, you may see trucks place sandbags in the back of their truck when it's snowing or icy conditions, something like that, uh, in order to have better traction. And you may think, what's the logic behind that? Is there truth to it? So we're going to get into the math and explain if there actually is a legitimate reason for doing so. So here we have our example. We've got a truck with a 70-30 weight distribution. The weight distribution is very important and we have a mass of a thousand kilograms and the surface conditions are such that we're just going to say it's snowy, it's icy, and so the coefficient of friction between the tire and the road is 0.2 and of course the vehicle is rear wheel drive. So our lovely equation F equals mu N, so 300 kilograms, that's the weight on the rear tire, 30% times 1,300 kilograms, multiply that by gravity, 9.81 meters per second, multiply that by 0.2, and that will give us a force of 588.6 newtons. This is the maximum force that this tire can accelerate based on the traction that it has. Okay, and of course that's both rear tires. So let's get this into something that we can understand better because accelerating with 588.6 newtons doesn't really mean too much to us. So let's use the equation force equals mass times acceleration. 588.6 equals 1,000 kilograms times acceleration. 588.6 divided by 1,000, that gives us, just carry the decimal over, 0.5886 meters per second squared. Still, I'm not really familiar with what that's going to feel like. So let's divide this by 9.81 and that gives us 0 0.06 g's. So this, the maximum force that this truck can accelerate based on the traction that it has is 0 0.06 g's. Now, if we were to add 100 kilograms on top of that, what would the acceleration then be? And you have to keep in mind here, this is considering the fact that the engine has enough torque to be able to accelerate at that. If it can accelerate with 0 0.06 g's, which is a very small number, so most vehicles will certainly be able to do that. Uh, and if they don't, you know, something's probably wrong with the engine. But point is, uh, it only works if you cannot, uh, basically you have enough power so that you can exceed this force. So this is the maximum force you could accelerate with due to traction because you're traction limited. So we're adding 100 kilograms to the rear, We've got 300 plus 100 kilograms, uh, the weight that we added directly on top of the rear axle, multiplied by 9.81 times 0.2, that gives us 784.8 newtons. We divide that by 1100 times 9.81, and that gives us 0 0.0727 repeating Gs. So this may not seem like a huge difference, 0 0.06 versus 0 0.0727, but actually it's a 21% improvement in the maximum amount that your vehicle can accelerate. So that's pretty significant. Now, what if we change up the scenario and we have a different weight distribution? As I mentioned previously, it is important. So now we're gonna say it's a 50-50 weight distribution, same mass. So we've got 500, half of a thousand kilograms, times 9.81 times 0.2, divided by the mass of the vehicle, a thousand times 9.81, and that gives us 0.1 G. So the maximum force that we could accelerate if this vehicle had a better weight distribution would be 0.1 G, which is, as you can see, higher than these previous examples. Now, if we then add 100 kilograms to the rear of the truck, then we've got 600 times 0.2 divided by 1100, 0.109. So we're only having a 9% improvement in this case by adding the same amount of weight that we did previously. So it's going to be more significant in cases where your weight distribution is not in your favor, where you have less weight in the rear. So if you have a really light rear end, adding weight can cause a significant improvement. If you have a pretty good weight distribution, it won't be as significant. Still helps uh, in this situation. 0.109 G's is better than 0.1, um, but you know there's other sacrifices you're making by adding weight. So let's say you add 100 kilograms over the center of gravity. So you add, and we're going to use the same scenario where we have a 50-50 weight distribution. So you add 100 kilograms over the center, 550 would be half of 1100 times 0.2 divided by the mass of the vehicle, 1100.1 g. As you notice, that's the exact same as before we've added weight in the situation before. So by adding weight over the center of gravity, you do absolutely nothing. And in fact, you only make things worse because there are negative things that come with adding weight to a vehicle, handling fuel economy, uh, deceleration, things like that. The other thing to keep in mind is this only applies if you have two wheel drive. If you have all wheel drive or four wheel drive and you can have the torque split such that the front and rear can uh, optimize torque in order to accelerate, 
then in any situation adding weight is only going to make acceleration worse because it's essentially doing the same thing here. You're just adding weight over the available traction that you already have. You don't need it uh, and so there's no point in doing it. So if you have four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, uh, you don't really want to be adding weight ever. Now adding 100 kilograms over the front axle, uh, let's say you just have no clue what you're doing and you're like, all right, whatever, I heard that you add sandbags, I throw it over the front of the truck uh, and then I go on about my way. Well, let's see what happens in this case. So now we have the same amount of weight on the rear axle if we're putting the 100 kilograms directly on top of the rear tire. Same amount of weight on the rear, so 500 kilograms, we're doing the 50-50 distribution. Multiply that by 0.2, but now we're dividing by 1100 instead of 1000 because we've added weight. Well now we can only accelerate with 0.091 Gs. So it's 10% worse because we didn't realize where we should have placed that weight. So weight placement is critical. Uh, that's my number one point right here. And also the other really critical thing is this only works if you're traction limited. So for example, if you're just on the road and you wanna add weight to your car because you think you're gonna accelerate faster, most of the time on road, you've got a really high coefficient of friction, and so you don't need to worry about this. You can accelerate plenty fast. You don't need to add weight to do it. And so in most situations, it's not gonna be beneficial. The other thing is you're gonna have more fuel consumption, you're gonna have worse handling, and you're gonna have worse braking because you're adding weight. And then once more, you know, if your vehicle is not traction limited, acceleration becomes worse. So in any scenario where traction is not the problem and you add weight, you only decrease acceleration. But in the rare circumstances, if it's snowy outside and you can't get your truck moving uh, because the rear wheels keep spinning, adding weight over them can mathematically, as we've shown here, help. So thank you guys for watching and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.